2,880 minutes. That was the amount of time between the picture you see on the left and the picture you see on the right. Right here, out of bounds with that right heel. The picture on the left was undeniably the worst moment in my life. It was the moment I realized all I had dreamed of, all I had worked for for the past 14 years was not going to happen. There were no do-overs, no second chances. Just like that, my dream was gone. It was two tenths of a point. A slight wobble, a barely bent knee, or maybe an elbow bent so slightly only a judge would notice. That was all it took to end my dream. 2,880 minutes. That was the amount of time I had to pick myself back up and bounce back from one of the lowest points in my life. That was the amount of time I had to leave the devastation behind and muster the courage to get back out on the competition floor and compete for Team USA as we vied for the team gold medal. Double, double to this open. This is a big vault. This is the Aminar. Oh. She is on. I think any question of whether or not Jordan could be mentally prepared for today is absolutely gone. Get the gold medal, ready. That picture on the right is two days later, and it was unequivocally the best moment in my life. How did you come back from that disappointment? How are you so resilient? At first, I wasn't even sure. But when I finally decided years later to dig deep and find that answer, I realized that what I had learned was something that was worth sharing. Something that might help others when life doesn't go exactly as planned. And we all know, life never goes exactly as we planned. There you go. <laughs> I first stepped into a gymnastics club at the age of four. Anyone in the audience who's ever been on a balance beam like this one knows exactly how many times you have to fall off in order to learn how to stay on. Between seven hour practice days and 35 hour weeks, I would fall off this balance beam more times than I could count. The beauty in that was that each time I fell, through the guidance of my coaches and examples of my teammates, I was taught to take a deep breath, reset, and get back up. During that 2,880 minutes between the picture on the left and the picture on the right, my mind was spinning with questions of self-doubt. When the tears finally started to dry, I realized I was left with the same choice I had each time I fell off this balance beam since I was four. I could get frustrated, or I could once again tighten my ponytail a little bit tighter and take one step forward. Is going to win this American Cup by point. Gymnastics had trained me to turn myself around after the smallest and biggest of failures and disappointments. You may need a few minutes, you may need a few days, or even a few weeks. Brilliant. You may need 16 months and 6 days. Stunning from Jordan Weber. What matters is not that amount of time, but that you decide when that time is over. The more you practice this, the more resilient you will become. And what happens next could be the best moment in your life.